leg, I'd, I'd like it to be amputated. That's what I perceive to be my end goal. BIID um, is shortened for Body Integrity Identity Disorder, in which it's a condition where the brain doesn't recognise an aspect of the body. For me, the map stops on the right leg three inches from the hip. It manifests in an itch. It would be the equivalent of someone who is whole growing an, an extra limb. It does not belong there. Before he came out to me with it, I didn't even know about BID. It felt like someone was coming out to me as gay or trans. You know, I could see how important it was for him and, and how nervous he was. My first thoughts were, that's unbelievable that my friend is having to go through this. I've tried myself a few times by injecting medical grade alcohol into the limb, but there was intense pain. More pain than I anticipated because you could actually feel the alcohol drying up the muscles. There was a sense of feeling of success. You couldn't move it, but after eight hours, it was fine. I got put in contact with a man who was regarded as what's called a gatekeeper, and he knows the names of surgeons who are willing to do an amputation for a set fee and what they would do then is they would give you documentation to say it was an accident. I paid this man in total just shy 20 grand. It turned out to be a massive scam. Last year I was in a very dark place and it culminated in me trying to jump in front of a train. I think what led me to feel was the sense of isolation and alienation not being able to talk to anyone, they're constantly having to put on a mask. In terms of pretending, I try to do it at least once a day, if not longer. I feel a lot better and I get to see myself as I would be or should be rather than as I am. It's a peculiar condition known since around 1970 in which a perfectly healthy individual with no physical damage, no psychiatric problem, quite early in childhood, starts to desire a different body. Okay, so when you are ready you can start. With Nick we did some experiments on emotional processing with the results, what we see is a clear pattern and it shows that there is a different emotional processing in relation to the representation of the body. The life risk which is associated with BID is really extreme. We should try to understand what can we do for these individuals because it's not fair to be suffering like this and to put your life at risk. Meeting Anna today was really good. She was able to reconfirm things for me and put a name to a lot of things as well. And then I look forward to speaking with her again and seeing what she comes up with in the terms of treatment. If the choice came for an amputation, I would jump at the, the opportunity. That's the only way I can see the itch would stop. If Nick would have his leg removed by a surgeon, uh, safely, by a qualified surgeon, I would be behind him 110%. I hope Nick's future will be... will be where he can just be himself. I'd like to start living again, but I'd also like to work with people with BID and help them 
either cope with it or get the help it needs. And then you've got the people who do have it in the sense of they're not alone. <laughs>